The rain may have passed, but signs of flooding can still be seen across Napa. Check out this section of Pearl Street near Main Street towards the Napa River. The street itself looked like a river under a couple feet of water. Preparing for the worst, area shop owners did have their sandbags in place, but in stores like this one, flood water still managed to break through. This is pretty scary stuff. I mean, and with more rains coming, it's, uh, it's we better watch out. We have, we've paid uh, this phenomenal amount of money for a, a flood project, and I, I'd hate to see what would happen if we had never had the flood project. <laughs> Lewis Palmer says he'll probably spend the next three days cleaning up the muddy mess around his home. This plane all the way across to Lewis Factory, which is flooded, is, um, was about three feet deep of water for about a good five hours. There's approximately about eight inches of water in the downstairs, even though we had bagged and uh, put plastic up against the walls. Elsewhere in Napa, people slosh through mud-covered sidewalks. And on 2nd Street, the lower level of this parking garage was still under several feet of water. I live on the west side of town, and my basement flooded about three feet. And just everything was floating. It just ruined the washer and dryer and uh, hot water heater. Restaurants like Uva in the downtown area were booked with New Year's reservations, but flood damage means that doors will be closed on what's usually the busiest night of the year. Just outside of Napa City limits on Edgerly Island, mandatory evacuations were ordered as water from the Napa River spilled over a narrow roadway and into yards and even pushed up against some homes. Many residents we spoke to did not evacuate, while others returned by mid-afternoon breathing a sigh of relief. And major flooding at the intersection of Highway 12 and the 121. The road was closed and you can see that cars still tried to barrel through the flooding and got stuck. The current was so strong it swept this tank away that's now banging on the bridge over the Sonoma Creek, stuck and unable to pass.